Good morning, it's Jeremy. It's Saturday, August the 24th. I'm just down at uh, Toronto Harbour Front here and I'm testing the uh, RTL version 5. I'm testing it on HF and VHF. I'm going to be using a GNU radio. So there's the GNU radio setup. For the HF, I've just got a very simple antenna, just a bunch of crocodile clips uh, connected to a park bench. Not very sophisticated, so we're not going to get a great signal, but it'll be good enough. And then uh, for the VHF, I've got a whip antenna. So let's go over to the uh, program and see what's going on. Okay, so we're going to look at the AM radio first, the uh, HF, uh, below 27 megahertz. So if you're going to use the RTL version 5 for the HF, you need to put in the direct sampling. And the way to do that in GNU radio in the RTL source block what you have to do here is enter uh, this, this comment in the device arguments, direct underscore sample equals two. So put that in there, and that will give you the direct sampling on the Q branch. Remember, of course, that you need, your, uh, you need to install the device driver. If you're on Windows, make sure you've got the device driver for the RTL, so you can go to the link in the blog post to install the device driver. Or um, if you've got SDR Sharp, there's a bat file in the installation of the STR Sharp that will do everything for you. But I'm assuming you've got your driver installed. So let's see what happens here. This is a schematic. I've got a source block, low pass filter. I'm taking the I and Q, squaring them, and taking the magnitude. That gives me an AM demodulator, and I've got an audio sync. I've got a GUI range control for the gain, and I've got a GUI volume control, and I've got a range control from 540 to 1. Seven meg. So let's see what happens here. You can go into the command window to see if it's detected properly. So there it is there. It's found the tuner. And it's also in direct sampling mode. So you can check in there just to make sure that it worked out. So right now I'm receiving AM680. There's the volume control there. Increase that. I've got a gain control. You don't want to put too much gain on the RTL. Usually uh, less is, is better. If you've got too much, you can overload and cause intermod. There's the frequency control there. And you can see we've got some strong signals here. There's a strong signal at 1100. Let's go up to 1400 and see what that sounds like. So just in summary then, that's AM. Let's now look at VHF. So here's my VHF schematic. Now notice I don't have any um, special device arguments in there. So it's the normal IQ operation, quadrature sampling. So <clears throat> I'm going from 155 megs to 164 megs. That's the marine band. I've got a narrow band FM receiver. And I got a GUI range control and a GUI volume. So let's see how that sounds. Power, barometric pressure 102.4 so weather, it's a nice signal. And rising. Conditions for Quite Toronto a strong downtown signal. I don't have much gain on there, just 10 dB. 22 degrees Celsius. Conditions for Toronto City Centre Airport at 11 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Sunny, 20 degrees Celsius. So then in summary then, what we've done is we've used GNU radio for the HF band. Uh, using the RTL source with uh, some special device arguments in there to get the direct sampling. And then the normal operation VHF, UHF, uh, where you don't need any special arguments there. And I've given you an example for a narrowband receiver.